Okay, good morning, good evening. <laughs> um, just waiting for everyone to get here and play with the jelly plate today and the distress oxides. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with this camera. Hey, Janet. Hey, Ali. I see others zooming in with their cameras, but I've only got the C910, so I'm thinking the C920 may be the one that I need to be able to zoom in because it says it's been it's in use with um with Google Chrome, so I don't know. Hey, Cindy. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hang on, I'll top pop out this chat because I can't see a thing. Um, how do I pop chat out? Pop out chat. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay. And can I make that larger, that text? And that's fine, zooming in or out, Janet, with um, the camera. I can't even do that. I used to be able to do it with Ustream, but it's saying it's in use by Chrome, so I can't even do that. But it's not too bad. Like um, You can still see okay. I was a bit tired today. Had a few too many wines last night to wait up for Christy and them to get here. Oh, the 9.30. Oh. Oh, I don't worry. I don't even look at the light lock thing, so I'm thinking I might try and get the 9.30 then. Oh, load your software after you've hit live. Okay. Hmm. I'll have a go. Hey, Dorothy. Doc. I thought I'd better stream, otherwise I'll only be on my case. Doc's got the um, copper stick at the ready. I was so tired. I didn't get to bed till 1 o'clock this morning and I was up at 8. Oh, hello, Arlene. Nice of you to join us. And I cooked all day yesterday. I've made a fried rice. I made a bolognese, which is like a tomato sauce sort of thing with mince for spaghetti bolognese. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Mindy. Um, I made an egg dip, curried egg dip. This morning, I, I got up at 8, I had one cup of coffee and then I'm into it. I bought too much meat to make um, just the one stew to fit in the one pot. So I had to make two separate stews. I've done that already and I've just got to make a potato bacon. That way they can eat whatever they want, whenever they want. There's going to be enough food there and I don't have to worry about whether they're going to be here for dinner or not. So Christy's already at her dress fitting and she's just sent me a text message showing me the shoes. She thinks she'll get and they look really nice so it's all happening i think jarek and cameron are going suit shopping tomorrow hey linda try it before you buy a new camera i will janet for sure all right and i've got cuts and and Bruises all over my hand. That one there, no, that one there, I think was opening a tub of ice cream. Hey, Marie. Hey, Karen. All right, well, we've got a few in here, so let's probably get started. Hardly used this plate since I bought it. This is the one Kerry Ann um, gave me when she came. Up when the girls were here, and this is the one with the shapes the triangle, circle, and square that I've never used. So, 
don't know what we're going to do. Um, I won't use this one unless I use it for a page, journal page. I might try and do a journal page. But last, well, was that two weeks ago, I was going to stream and I got everything ready. And that's when I had to take my brother into the hospital. He's okay. It was just a very severe chest infection, which he'd had antibiotics for, but it wasn't enough. So he stayed in hospital for two days. Um, and all results came back good. So uh, anyway. Oh, okay, the girls are in Maryland, aren't they? Forgot about that. But they're having a ball. Right, who's that? Someone's up. Jarek and Cameron are still in bed and it's now after 11 a.m. Caden's in the lounge room laying his iPad. Am I Eileen? Let me just see who it is. Oh, good morning. It's Cameron. You beat Jarek out. Wow. He's still in there yet? She's down getting a dress oh, yeah, fitted yeah, and yeah, buying yeah. shoes. What are you up for? You told me to get up early. When? Yesterday. Did I? You said, don't make up, don't make up too late. Last night? Yeah. Huh? Don't recall. <laughs> okay, she bought them. Okay, they didn't have any in stock, so they're going to post them to my house. Or she might look for another pair too and then she can choose which ones <laughs> look better in person with the dress. Shaz has also bought a dress online. Mm. Um, I'm talking, I'm streaming. Oh, he's talking to Caden. Um, so it's going to come here, being delivered here. So anyway, all right. So um, what colours are we going to start with? I guess Eileen's going to sign greens. Oh, okay, hold on. We're going to play with the distress oxides. I like um, the cracked pistachio. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. Oh, dear. Mandy's a bit iffy about the colour because everything else being silver. And these are more like a rose. They're not a gold, but they're not a silver. It's real. Hang on, let's see if I can show you. Hang on. Yeah, she hasn't really taken oh, There we go. Um, there, that's those there. Oh, what have I got on my? Looks like I had a mark on my thumb. I don't know. Oh, my coffee. Close my eyes and pick three. Well, it's a bit hard in my um my thingy bob um the tower. They are pretty, but she's having silver, aqua, and her dress is like a, an ivory. Hang on. <laughs> So I'm going to do the um, favours. I don't think I've got a jar down here. Um, it's just like a, a mini mason jar. And um, I think that's very close to the colour of the bridesmaids' dresses. So I've just got that and the silver. So I'm going to be doing some um, tags and 
um, because she loves butterflies, so we'll have a butterfly punch die cap sitting on the lid and all that sort of thing. But anyway, I'll get to those. By waiting on more jars, they only had 21 in stock, so I've ordered more. <sighs> okay. Hey, Linda. All right, so um, we've got to put a blue in there. Well, bluish colour, peacock feathers. All right, let's try those three and see how we go. So now, do I want to put it directly on there? Yeah, probably not. Okay, contaminated a bit, but that's okay. Now I'm going to spritz that. There's all sorts of ways of doing this, and we'll play around with that. Okay, a bit of cardstock. And I've got um, just lightweight cardstock that I'm using. Who, who actually went to the retreat? I see, um, I think I saw that CC was there. Oh, look at that. How pretty is that? Let's do another one. That is pretty, yeah. Sometimes the second pull is um, better. So let's see. Ooh, look at that. Now you can build on that. That's nice. <laughs> you got to get rid of your, your jelly plate. Yeah, no mess. No paint everywhere. So that's good. Okay. What I can do is, all right, let's dry this one first and then we can um, maybe do some splatters on it. I'm going to move some stuff out of the room. Squeeze is nearly finished, my other room. Um, he's just got to hang the door, I think, and put one strip of architrave, skirting, moulding, whatever you call it, and then bring my um, shell, uh, yeah, my shelving in, and shelving, and then start building my benches, bring everything in. Okay, so we're having a bit of buffering. Some are, some aren't. All right, let me get the heat again. Noise. That makes it very expensive, though, Linda. Gold and silver relics. Okay, 
So what colours should we put on top of that? I don't think I want to put yellow. I want to put... Um, that looks so nice like that, but... Um, I don't know. I don't want to put pinks. Why don't I just go a deeper green? What have I got? I don't like like a clove. Oh, what about a um, deeper bluey colour than a blueprint? Mm, maybe not. Darker green, yeah. Okay, let's see what darker greens I have. I've got lucky clove. Could I have another darker green? Hold on. Oh, yes, no. Oh, I wonder what that would be like. Hickory smoke might be nice on it, you know. That's the only darker green I have. I could try the peel paint. Hmm. Yeah, we'll try the clover. Yeah, they really are golden. Very pricey here. Okay, let's just... And that's pretty. So maybe we just leave that at that and then try. I'm thinking the hickory smoke might look all right on it. Flick it on the jelly plate and use it that way. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Okay. You know what? Oh, okay, I'll stay with the green. Eileen says to flick it onto the jelly plate. All right, just like that, let's see how that goes. These are probably still wet, but that's okay. And... Ooh, that's pretty cool what it does there. I like that. Mmm. You know what? I'm going to do that with... Hang on, let me just do this. That over there. Oh, I'm going to do the um, peacock feathers next, I think. I'll leave that on there. It does turn out awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do the peacock feathers next. going to put this over on this one. And see how we go. Hey Diane. Good to see you. <laughs> Very good. Okay. It's getting some depth there. That's for sure. I think I need to bring in some of the peeled paint, I reckon. I'm going to wipe that off. It's 
So Squiz had the, um, I had a cold or flu, whatever it was. Remember he had that and then he had it again. So he had it twice and he gave it to me both times. So I've, and I'm still getting over it. So if I start coughing, I'll try and mute myself. CB should be here to count layers, Karen. That's right. All right, now I want this sort of down here. Maybe a little bit up there. Okay. Just putting this over on this other piece that I've got happening. Try not to waste it. Oh, so sweet, Diane. But then he says to me yesterday that he thinks he's coming down with it again. I don't know what's going on. Cameron hasn't got it yet, so can't be anything in the house. Right, this is starting to get very bumpy, so I have to dry it. Yep, loving that. Looks good. All right, I think I'm going to dry it. And maybe we should put some um, stampage on it then. And try and do something with it. All right, noise again. All right, so I'm thinking maybe some greenery. They are pretty. I love blues and greens together. Right, well, I've got any stamps out here near me. Probably not. I did. Okay, here we go. I love this stamp set for some indigo blue one. I wonder if we could try and do something with her. It should be quite nice on there. So do we, because I don't think we need to do anything more to that. Why 6.15 a.m. tomorrow? Doc, I like her and I think 
I think she's going to come up amongst that. Let's see. Yeah, these are oxides, Marie. Distress oxides. Trying to find a large enough. <laughs> um now do we want to you i think what i want to use for that is some greens so i'm going to use uh do i want to use no i don't want to use that i want to use no i want to use olive i want to get you up dorothy Oh. So this is probably where I'm going to stop it. So let's just and continue that along. And maybe, hold on, I have to mask that off. Okay. What about there? Try and fit it on. And it, so it lines up. Okay. Ah, uh, this is quite difficult. Yeah, look at that. That's okay. We'll just go like that. Oh, sorry. That was a bit loud. Right. And then I'm going to have I want do I want her in there black I think like about there. Yep. And let's get some jet black. She's a bit. Miss the ink. That's a bit better. Look through the plastic sheet for place, that good idea. I think I want to right about there, I think. Yeah. So she's got that. Yeah, right about there. Go oh, Cameron had set three alarms and still not get up for work. Now I'm gonna to have to go over there with something else so it's not so open. She needs to be hidden by that those bushes. Or do 
shall I just do some leaves? Hold on. Okay, let's um let's go with another green. Oh, let's go with an olive green, like olive in the stays on. I think it's a bit darker than that one. Let's see anyway. I should put something. There. Okay. Hey, Norma. Now, yeah, I haven't had a chance to respond to um, Twitter. What was that? Or where did you go today? Um, that's darker. Um, Janet? This is light gray green, I think. Yep. This sort want her a bit. Okay. That'll do that. Maybe I'll try and get um okay. let's just get a little bit of foliage in there maybe. Oh okay. How far away is that? Yeah, this is, I like this stamp. This is a um, Sheena Douglas. So we just want a bit in there. I probably should have done that. Um, green. Silly girl, Jen. Well, you know what? I can always get another stamp. Um, I could probably just do this. Where'd it go? And then just it's a bit messy now. That's okay. Put something up there and mask it somehow. Probably. Yeah, she's a bit blank up there, but that's okay. Ninety miles one way for you, wow. Oh dear. How old is she? You know what? I think I want to stamp this on some cardstock and um, cut them out. So and then get rid of it and be done with it because I want to just try some other colours and I think I might um, 
I might cover a journal page, a, a notebook journal or something with them. So I might cut them up like Janet did. And um, that's not that one, that's that one. Oh, that's not good. So, thinking. Just. Okay. I just do. And I'm just going to cut them out, I think. Oh, wow. Let me cut each line up. Okay. Now what's the quote saying here? Live every moment. Where'd it go? Live every moment. Laugh every day. Love beyond words. Okay. And then that's it. So then I'll just... Um, go around it with some black and done. And then we'll just get in and play and just make some yummy backgrounds with some different colours. Yeah, I'll we'll come down a little bit, I think. Leave. Every moment. Uh -huh. Every day. Beyond words. Oh, okay. I need to come up a little bit. Okay. And then just grab a stipulo all and go around it and that's done. Or maybe I just grab a um, 
pen. So just a thin sharpie, I think. And just sort of roughly. Done. And then you cut that out and probably um quick it. All right, let's play. Let's just play. Get this crap. And then play with some colours and see the different ways you can apply the um oh, apply the distress oxides. Hey Ange. So I've only got probably, I think, 24, is it? And he's brought out quite a few more, so I'm going to have to get the rest. I've made the unit to fit them all, so I've got to get them. Just got to. Just cleaning up the area here. What I'm going to try and do and see how. Well, let's try these. Um, simple, no, not yet. Okay, hold on. Get rid of these colours because we've used those. Bring this back. Sorry, I just want to clear up this mess. Right. Four sets, has he? I've only got two, I think. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Seven, eight, nine, twenty, twenty-one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I've got 30. Don't have that, I think. Don't know. Oh, me too. The oxides are just amazing. Right. Let's get into some purple and orange, eh? Hey? Yeah. How are we going to put these on? Just like this, I guess. How, how else are we going to put them on? 12 at a time? Yeah, well, how come I've got 30? An odd number. Unless I want a couple of same, because I know Xandra gave me a few. I don't think I've got... Um, to the same, unless I just didn't get them the whole set at the time at that time. Uh, wilted violet. I haven't um taken them out or named that like put their labels on them yet oh duh bray of them on that's right all right let's get the bray out that way we're not going to contaminate it okay okay bray them. this one's shaded lilac and that way they'll um 
Oops, wrong one. Uh, that way they um will blend in to each other. Um, what other colour? I don't think I have any other purpley colours. So I might put in I don't know. Let's just do these two and see what they come out like first. Hey. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, and you got to get them. They are so fun to play with. They really are. All right, so I'm now going to spritz it. Okay, get another bit of cardstock. Yep, okay. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? Like there's only two two shades of purple here. I like that drippage. I'm gonna let it drip. What colour you reckon? You know, if I dry this, we could do a yellow. Or maybe we do a wild honey. Oh, what about the abandoned coral? Ugh. And join the club. I have way too many stamps. So that's that. Let's... So I'm just going over the top of this. I want to see what we have at the end of it. That looks quite good. All right, now I'm going to put our oh, postage stamps. Well, you're on your own there. I'm going to use wild honey, I think. But before I do that, I'm going to dry this. And then splot two other colours. Oh, okay. Okay, so one colour. Okay. Look how that is there. So cool. So you may, so they're going to um, blend in together. All right. So, but you know what? Instead of using the wild honey, I want to use that. Um, where to go? I want to use the hickory smoke on this. But you know what? I don't want to. All over it, but I do want it on. I don't want it just splattered. I don't think. So let's splat it on here, and then do that. And I think that will look quite good. Ooh, it's not really juicy, I don't think. Okay.
All right, here we go. Look at it now. No, I haven't, Eileen. <laughs> I have not opened all of them. I've got... I've only got one more to open, so that's okay. <laughs> All right, are we ready for it? Okay, Doc. Well, I don't like hickory smoke. Once it dries, it might be alright. It just looks like it's wet on me. I think I'll go back over it with some purple. Okay. All right, I'm going to let that dry for a bit on its own and then I'm going to, right, so those two are the ones that are going to splat. The colour that I'm going to use, I think, is the wild honey. So I'm going to bray that on. Actually, I'm not going to do two purples. What I'm going to do, because they're just going to blend into each other, I think I'm going to do the darker purple and how does blue and purple go on the colour wheel? All right. Oh, how about black? Black would be awesome. Black soot. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Black, black soot and wilted violet. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm going to spritz. No, I'm not going to spritz that first, are I? I'll spray this. No, I'm not. Okay. And, oh, look at those two colours. Oh, they actually look quite nice. But it's probably going to be a bit of a bloodbath in a minute. Let's see. Uh -uh. Okay. Oh, I should be doing it all on the jelly. I don't understand how you can do that. I'm fine, okay. Are we ready for it? Ooh, I'm too scared. Okay, the black just got lost in it, but that's quite effective. Like you can't see any of that wilted violet. It's turned green. But that looks really awesome. Look at it. Ugh, I'm trying to get it. How cool does that look? I'm dry that. I'm going to do it um, again and like add some more on to the jelly plate and see what it's like. Yeah, it looks awesome, Arlene. Well done. No rain. I'm going to block this dry. Heat set it, and then I'm going to put some more on it. It is quite yummy. <laughs> I 
All right. Now, do I want to clean that chocolate plate off? No, I don't. Here we go. Here's the wilted violet. See, that's going to go brown now. I think I should clean it. I do. Let's get this over here. Let's get it off. Yeah. We really needed to do that. Um because it was just going to make a, a mess. And I think, actually, I think I might just do the black and see how that looks. Dunno. No, I'm going to do both. Not too much on this one yet. It is, Eileen. It's, um, it's not messy like paint okay not really anyway oh yeah I'm glad I um I'm glad I cleaned that plate off. That is looking awesome. It does clean up fast, Eileen. That looks really, really yummy. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave that one as is. And now what I'm gonna do, I think. Like that to dry, and are oh, you mad that you got? <laughs> Did you actually have a jelly plate, Janet? Got rid of it, and now you're kicking yourself. <laughs> uh oh. See, these are so much like magicals without the shimmer. You just never know what you're gonna get each application. Right. So I want to use these somehow as well. So I'm going to do a, let's go into the blues. I've got a few of those. So let's get Salty Ocean down. Ooh, image transfer on the jelly plate. That'd be cool. All right. I think I've seen that done. It's pretty, pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do, I think, is just let it sit there for a bit. And I'm going to get these out. Let's just do some circles. Brand spanking. Okay. And I'm going to get, I'm not going to do all different colour blues. I think I'm going to have to do the reds. All right. So let's do candied apple. How am I going to do this? Like this. I'm going to spritz it. And I'm going to stamp it onto this jelly plate. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? And some spots too. Okay. I'm going to wipe this off. I'm 
Actually, I shouldn't be doing it on this. Ugh. Really? Let's take it off. Okay. I get some picked raspberry. Yeah, I agree, Janet. You should really invest. Again, reinvest. Okay. Here we go. Oops, I'm dripping. Oh, that is so pretty. Hang on, I should be doing this. Now, the next one, we'll do abandoned coral. No, we're not. We're going to do seedless preserves. It's more of a purple, but that's okay. Okay, and do one more colour. Oh, actually, I should just, I should just give it a little spritz maybe here and do a run. Okay, you ready? Do. Do. I forgot to do the split lot siloing. Oh, wow. Look at that. Like, I even got a bit of brown in there, but it's like a reddish brown. It's really yummy. Mm-mm. Okay, hold on. Let's get this. It is, isn't it, Eileen? You can't really see the circles, but I think the way that they um, transferred wasn't too bad. So we're going to continue with that one, I think, um, or not. Yeah, I think we need to do some splats. And I think it needs to be red just to see how that's going to go with it, I think. Um, all right, let's just, I don't want to spray it on. I want to actually splat it on with the brush. Oh, I was going to do it on here, wasn't I? I mean, okay, let's just do that. Let's wipe that up. It's yummy, isn't it? That just looks so good. Get in there. I want it on there. I want to dry this first. Noise.
shouldn't have been drawing that so close to the jelly plate. Anyway, here we go. Oh, see? Okay. Okay. Wow, that's getting some depth to it. It really is. I like that. I actually do. It doesn't look as brown as it's showing in the um, on camera, but that's pretty damn good. Okay. Um, all right. So maybe I wonder. Let's just do this. What I haven't, I haven't used the browns. I'm going to use the browns. Okay. And I'm just going to brayer it on there. That's vintage photo. Um, spritz it. The very first one. Yeah. I'll get to those again. I think the blues and the greens, and I have a, a good crack at it. All right. So, oh, That was a bit of a mess, that one, but I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to get some more shades of the browns. Okay. Good noise. Blue's going to look good. I probably should have had a blue background. All right, that was vintage photo. Now we're going to do, I might try gray burlap, okay. Okay. Not too much water. Let's go here. Oh, how cool does that look? Look at Oops. I not like that. Okay. I'm really liking that together. And I think I might actually have some... I'll splatter some blue over that in a minute. Noise. Okay. Walnut stain. somewhere I reckon. So any more brands? Oops. Last one I haven't opened. This is the gathered twigs. Oh, 
tell you what, some of these are really tight. So let's, there's only a couple of them. Ready, let's put that. Um, I'm gonna go up here, I think. Oh wow. And also down here. This is gonna be nice with the blue. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna dry this and then probably do another couple. Of, I like the frayed burlap one and the vintage one. You know what? This could actually look really yummy with multiple layers of of the um, circles. Okay, back to the vintage photo. I'm going to put it down, yeah, let's put it there. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dry that and then this, like multiple layers of these circles are going to look awesome. But look at, if you look up close, See what they've got there? That texture looks awesome. All right, next one. We're going to do the great burlap. And you can go all the way there. I think again it was yellow. I'm going to put that one up there and then over or down there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave those extra bits around there and I'm going to, hmm, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to, what, how am I going to put the blue on this? I think, yeah, I think I'm going to bray the, bray the blue on here and spritz it and put it over the top and see what we come up with like spritz it a lot maybe I don't know and I think we do hmm. 
Salty Ocean one? No. Oh, I don't know which one to use. Oh, here we go. Broken China. No, everyone's gone to sleep, I think, Ange. I don't think they like the browns. Oops, I've got a bit of contamination happening here. That's okay. 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 Are we ready for it? Oh, that's probably still a bit wet. I might need to dry that a bit. All right. Hold on. Okay, ready for it. Don't know what it's going to do. Might cover up all those circles. Who knows? We'll soon find out. It just looks. Yeah. Yeah. I really like blue. With browns, but I don't know about that. They could be effective for something, but you can still see all the. They're not bad. Okay, I'm going to put that aside to dry. And we're going to actually do this. I'm going to try the blues and greens again. All right, right. So we've got Broken China. I didn't use that one before. So no, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use exactly the same ones and see if we can get back to that. What did I use? No, I didn't even use that, did I? I used Peacock Feathers. I used the green. What is it? Cracked Pistachio. And was it the Salty Ocean or...? Might have been Mermaid Lagoon. We'll try the Mermaid Lagoon anyway. I'll try that as three. Okay. Okay. Janet's colours, what, the blue and the green? Did I do... This one, these colours. I've got some serious lag here. Blue, green, purple are my fave together. All right. All right. Well, let's do Cracked Pistachio, Mermaid Lagoon, and that's a bit too purple. Okay, I'll try it. Wilted violet. All right, so let's try this. I'm just going to go like that. Okay. Ugh. See, this is another one that's really stiff. And oh, come on. All right. Got it. Not Ange. I need a yellow wool set. Well, we'll um okay, so. Let's do um, uh, 
Squeeze all the yellows. I know I have one. Squeeze lemonade, don't I? Thought I did. Fossilized amber is probably the only one. Oh no, got it. Gonna do. I'm gonna wet it by spritzing this over. Okay. Yep. Alright, so here we go. Oh, look at that. Wow, that looks so pretty. Just bring this up and show you what it's doing. Look at that. All right, are you ready? Okay. How's that? Yeah, okay. I'll run out of paper. Let me cut some more. So I'm bring that one up. Well, what else could I do to that one? No, I'm going to leave it as is. I like it. Oh, how soft is that? Hmm, that'd be a good contrasting um, paper. All right. I'm going to try what? Just different shades of green, I think. See what we come up with because I've got quite a few greens. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, first one we'll do cracked pistachio. Next one. Put them all back, did I? Okay. Peel paint. I'm going to go over that one. Um, next one. Lucky Clover. Going to put another oh, best dance that that might be Christy. What about this one? Oh, okay, she's got another one. Oh, okay, that's what do you reckon? I think I like the other one better because she's got no sort of pink, she's got silver but not pink. So, no, I think I like the other one better. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So I'm not going to splatter anything on this. I'm going to I'm gonna do some black. Black soot is what I'm going to do. Yeah, I agree, Eileen. That's just too much colour, I think. So I think the others look a lot better. It's going to be funky. All right. I'm still going to put a little bit of water on that. Okay. <laughs> I know what you mean, Janet. And see, I'm so tall that I hate um, wearing high-heeled shoes as it is. So, but she's sh a lot shorter, so she can get away with it. And younger. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Like, that's more solid in there, but I love the um, other layers there. Oh, trying to get it so you can see it. There. Okay. Yeah, that turned out not too bad. So, Hmm. Don't know. Do I want? Hmm. Okay. Um, thinking. I want blues and greens again. Just the blues and greens, no other colour. I want to see what it turns out like. I'll splat it with the darkest blue, I think. Um, right, so I'll show you in a minute what we have. Okay, that was no major burn. Oh my god. Salty ocean. Then we got faded jeans. Oh my god. Oh blueprint sketch. It's more of a purple colour when it comes out, I think. Oh, that's what I was going to um splatter with. That's right. Okay, so do I not have any others? No, I don't. Is there none hiding here? Oh, broken china. It's got a little bit of green in it, but that's all right. All right, are we ready? I'm going to get the um, blueprint sketch, spritz it, and splat. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. I wonder what colours are left sitting in here. We've got iced spruce. Missed that one. Abandoned coral, antique linen, worn lipstick, fire brick, spiced marmalade, fossilised amber. I guess I don't like the pinks and orange as much. <laughs> All right. Oh, see. Oh, you can see that underneath where it wasn't splattered so it was sort of dry is what's underneath and the splatters are the more solid areas so what I need to do is not splatter so much on top and I think that's when you're going to get a better um pull okay let's Let's try it with the greens now. Oh, nice contrast um, paper, I think. Yep, that's nice. You need some of those. All right. Um, well, let's try the greens. Okay. And, and do it that way where we... Um, We don't splatter too much um, at the end. All right. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. She said, ha, ha, Mandy said they're perfect. Well, if I have both, we can decide what looks better in the flesh. Okay. Now she buy two pairs. Let's do the cracked pistachio. That was twisted citron. Now we'll do cracked pistachio. Then we've got peel paint. And we got, I think that might be the darkest. What does iced spruce look like? That's not, no, it's more of a grey. That's all right. Grey, green. All right. And now I'm going to just lightly spritz it and see what we come up with. All right. And that'll do. Okay. I'm going to see what that's going to look like. Maybe I should wet the up. No, I, I just a light spritz is all I want. Are we ready for it? Oh, I like that too, you know. There's still areas in there that probably need colour on them because I didn't sort of brayer and blend them in. So what I should do... All I'm going to do, I think... Is put some of the twisted citron, I think, just a little bit. So up there, up like that, and then spray it, spritz it, and see how that goes. 
just lightly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. See, that's quite nice too. All right. Guess what? I think I'm done. Nice contrast. I can't wait to put these together once they all dry. Um, mm, all right, I'll show you what we have. Look at all these sitting here. Okay, let's put those away first. Green, 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 green. Oh. I didn't do the lucky clover. Okay, blue, blue, blue. Oh, go away, you. Blue, blue, blue. Reds and pinks over here. The purples. Go and stir the stew. So. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, yeah, it's awesome. I'm glad Eileen put me onto it actually. These are really great to cut up and use for covers. Okay, are we ready? Well, I just stuffed that one. That background was absolutely beautiful at first, but that's okay. I can put that somewhere on a page or something. So that and then this one I wasn't too much of a fan of, but I'm going to play around with the circle thing, okay? This is very pretty. I do like that. Okay, let's just cover that one up. I have learned that when you do the splatter, don't do too many because you get all that solid area. And I um, wasn't a fan of that. Like with this, that was too many splats. Um, and these are great to offset, you know, between each one when you do the pages. So, and this one too, way too many. But they're pretty good. But even that, I love that. Oh, it doesn't like that one. This is pretty. That is pretty. I do like that. That's okay. It could be better. But yeah. Um, but I'd probably use that, 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 that. That and that one um, on a cover. They look really pretty together. Look at that. It's not liking all that white, I don't think. But they need to dry completely, so I might just take them out and put them on the back table. have a play around and catch up with you um so that's that good yeah it was flickering um the screen and i don't know i think it's got to do with all the white so the more black i showed the better it became i think that's my fave I do like all the layering in the, the, what looks like laying, layering, but there wasn't. Um, I do like that. That's too many splats. I think I like that one. It's 
still too many splats on it, but I have learned, I think. <sighs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging with me. I just can't say what Caden's doing. Um, and stir the stew. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.